figure out how to hold these straps in place without these boards being here because I don't think they can be there once I start putting the bulkheads in. Alright, morning. So a long time has passed. Um, Doug's going to get you caught up. So we had a cold spell down here in Florida for about a month, month and a half. It was below 55. And it got to the point where it was time to epoxy the boat, epoxy the inside, you know, lay the epoxy down, get it soaked into the wood. Epoxy's got to be at 55 degrees at the minimum, the lowest, before we can apply it. So I had to sit and wait. So uh, a couple weeks ago, finally warmed up enough. So what I did is I went ahead, kind of catch up and everything. Went ahead and epoxied all this. So this has all been epoxied. A uh, guy I met told me to thin it with um, acetone. So I did that to kind of help it soak in. So I did that. So it's all done. Epoxied all the pieces, all the, all the bulkheads are right here. They're epoxy as well, cornered, sanded. Um, so they're all done as well. Uh, the other thing I did just this past week was I started um, epoxying in the joints. So here, just basically making little patches in between the ties and I patched all oh, this is all epoxied right here. Um, epoxied all of that. So to hold it up. And so what I've been doing this morning what I've been doing this morning is uh, taking the brackets off. So I had all these brackets, you might recall, all these guys um, holding the, uh, the sides of the boat up. So I'm taking those off. So I just wanted to share this. <laughs> so when I was trying to get those screws out, I was trying to chisel. My first attempt before I used the, um, the strip screw remover, it was, I thought I'd just chisel the epoxy out. And um, I have destroyed this chisel. Thank God it was from Harbor Freight. It cost me like $6 for the whole set, but this is destroyed chisel. All right, so now it's time. You got some shears. I figured that probably be easier than scissors. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I think I'm going to start with the bow. I'm going to start with these guys right here. You can see them very well, but out here you can see the ties. So, um, let's get started, find some place good for you to sit. You know what, here, we'll bring you up here. Get you, get you close and personal. So, you're just snipping them. I'm just pulling it out. There you go, one down. <laughs> About 200 to go. There you go, look at that. This one's epoxied in place. So I got that all cut off. I'm going to sand all this down. Get those remaining. Alright, so one thing I wanted to share with you. Um, I don't know if you remember, I had a big old hole. Not big old hole, but I had a, about a half inch hole right here. So I've epoxied it. As you can see, you can kind of still see light through it. It's my fingers. Um, but at least it's... At least it's solid now, so I'll be able to go and just pass that in. gonna do a stitch and glue and use zip ties um, my big <laughs> suggestion is do the locks on the outside these guys the zip part do that on the outside it's monumentally better taking them off especially when epoxy gets stuck in there because I did them all or most of them on the inside and it's just a bugger so um tip number 375.2 Happy, happy day. All the zip ties are gone. Can't, I tell you what, everybody kept telling me it's epoxy would hold everything. 
I mean, they ain't lying. That stuff. I mean, I just, I just, I mean, I'm just, I'm just wild. Look like that. All the zip ties are out. So next step, gotta clean it out. And I got the little parts where the brackets were and stuff. I gotta seal that so I'll get some epoxy. So I need to sand all this down a little bit. Put some more epoxy down, seal everything. And um, I'll smoothen it out tomorrow. And then I'll be able to put the uh, fiberglass down. Tell you what, this stuff is potent. My brain cells are rotting out. Just smelling this stuff. Boom, about as thick as peanut butter, and stay in place. I hope so this works. Alright, so, make this about as thick as peanut butter. Just trying to keep it all nice and even, spread out nice and wide. Obviously, the more contact area, the more strength. So that's that's, that's the game plan. I've just taken me. Um, Five shirts, ruining five shirts to realize I need to use the same shirt every time. Because tell you what, this epoxy will get on everything. It has has magical qualities. It's able to to jump on anything that has, doesn't have epoxy on. It will just jump right on it. I don't know how it I don't know how it knows, but it does. So you might want to dedicate a a shirt or two to the cause. Because the obviously the dimensions of the boat matter a lot, that's what this here is for. This, this is just a strap off my truck, you know, the you know, carrying straps. And um, strap that in when I took the transom off, which is right over there. So this, I'm comfortable that this is within a half inch of when the transom's on. So, all right, so I'm gonna tell you what pops gets everywhere, dude. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, it's been a couple hours. Uh, it's still tacky, the, the roots are, but I'm going to go ahead and lay another, put another layer of um, thinned epoxy on the entire hull. Uh, just because I want to make sure it all has a sheen and there are spots that don't have a sheen. And I'm going to make sure obviously the, the, the wood is saturated. So, um, Alright, so put down the last thinned epoxy. You can see it's all shiny now. Um, it's going to dry and I'll do some sanding on it. And then I'll start the, uh, the fiberglassing right up, the, right up the middle sides probably be a couple of days for that but uh, exciting times exciting times dude anyway she goes so this is my crack up close and personal <laughs> not my crack but uh, the transom the, the bottom cracked when I put the transom in place, so that worked out really didn't work out really well. But better I find it now, so I put an epoxy on it, and of course it just souped right through. So I'm going to make some extra epoxy, thicken it up some. That led me to can be concerned with that if the back here had actually shifted, which obviously it did, which is why when I pulled it all together, I cracked the, um, the epoxy right there. That this that this was altered shape potentially the bow was all to shape as well and sure enough i went up here and my my forward seat no longer fit in here and that no longer fit and then my bulkhead when it goes right across here didn't fit either um and so i went and broke the brace out again brace on 
Thankfully, when I put it in place, it's all screwed in place now. Uh, nothing cracked. So I'm going to leave the brace in place. Uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as I spread out the uh, the panels, the sides, uh, the, the, the forward piece fit properly and the, and the hatch fit properly. So it, I just need to push the sides out here. So anyway, so that's been done. I'm feeling good about the dimensions there. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mix up some additional epoxy. All my, not all my clothes, but a lot of my clothes have been ruined uh, from the epoxy. It just gets on everything. And apparently when I was a kid, I was one of those kids who had a hard time. I just mixed up my epoxy. Had a hard time taking off his school clothes and putting on his play clothes. Apparently I was in that that area because Dad Dominic so I'm trying to be much more much more cleaner with my stuff. My epoxy. And who knows, maybe that'll keep me from epoxying my clothes going forward. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, right. we want the light blinking, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, take 76. <laughs> All right, so like I said, I, um, I'm having a difficult time getting the clamps out. So what I have you now is um, it's a strip screw remo remover, and I'm going to use that to drill into the screw since the epoxy is filled, the, the screw hole, so or the, the Phillips head part. So hopefully this works. My drill batteries are dead. So I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of, I got everything else done. I got that one off first. And you see, I got that partial drill, but I don't have enough power to pull that one out. And that's, that's the very last one. So once I get that one done, it's then tie cutting time. Cut the ties, what a day, what a day. I'm really excited about that, so. Anyway, we'll see you about an hour or so, wait for the batteries to charge up. Do that. <laughs> <laughs>